The Democratic Republic of Congo has approved maritime traffic right fees in November 2003. This means any carrier or operator making use of the DR Congo's maritime space owes the government. That country has not been reaping the benefits owed to it from tax collection. Between 2019 and 2020, it is estimated that the DR Congo lost about 1 million US dollars because there was no institution collecting its tax revenue. Thus, DRC's National Shipping Line, LMC, and Africa Union Cargo have established their new office at Valfis Bay to make sure that shipping royalties are collected. But the passion for us is that we are contributing to the socio-economic upliftment of a country like the DRC. The DRC is uh, one of the richest countries in the world in terms of its mineral, mineral uh, endowment. But we also know that it's also a country that has got a lot of challenges. And we are proud as African Union Holdings and African Union Cargo to be able to play our little role to assist the government of the DRC. The partners are working on four projects, including establishment of new shipping lines to and from the DRC. This will include a feeder service between the African East African ports, including Wolfish Bay, to the port of Matadi, for imports into central Congo and it will also then include the export of commodities out of central Congo to the international markets. What is interesting for Namibia is that it would also include the port of Wolfish Bay. Uh, as we are aware, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of salt export coming from Namibia to the DRC. So eventually the LMC vessels would also call the port of Wolfish Bay. The office at Valvis Bay is the company's second after the partners opened a branch in Johannesburg, South Africa, earlier this month. Plans are to expand the venture's presence to Tanzania, Kenya, China and the United Arab Emirates. Renate Renkura, NBC News, Valvis Bay.